Coming up on this special edition of SUTV, we'll focus on the different food options offered on Shippensburg University's campus. Good evening, I'm Stefan Wilson. There are many aspects of college that can determine a student's success and experience. From social events hosted by the Activities Program Board to tutoring services offered at the Learning Center, students need energy to stay focused on events such as these throughout the semester. Thankfully, Shippensburg University offers a variety of food options across campus that are not just limited to dining halls. We went out and talked with students to see where and what they enjoyed eating. Sometimes I do eat the on campus, but if I do, it's probably like a bagel and a coffee. And like Dunkin' Starbucks? Well, it depends. Like, if I'm in, the, like, I live in, a, I basically live in a cup because I work in a cup. I'm an APB, I'm in student government, so I'm always in the cup. So usually it's, a, it's definitely a bagel, a cinnamon raisin bagel with butter and a small vanilla iced coffee with uh, cream and sugar and right from Dunkin'. But if I'm feeling a little lucky, I go right to Starbucks, give me a, a green tea lemonade or a caramel macchiato okay. or a vanilla bean frappuccino with extra caramel. I like century breakfast, so when I'm lucky and like I get out of class early or if one of my classes are canceled, I'll be like, let me just get up and go to century. I always get a turkey, bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel with some tater tots or a hash brown I'll, every single time. And I went there for lunch one time and I got a chicken patty with cheese, lettuce, tomato, pickle, and a fries. And their fries are always like good. And I, I just like Century. It's just like a chill vibe. It's like you don't run into everybody. Like if you really want to just like relax, you can go to Century. They have like two different dining places, but like dining areas. So you can like go in the back or you could just be like in the front and they call your name. Like it's like a Starbucks env environment. Like Bria, and I'm like, it's me. If somebody asks which one is your favorite or what do you prefer, where would you send them or what would you say? I'd probably say Century Cafe. I'd say Century because they have variety and like a good amount of it is really good. Like it's, you know, it's, it's like, I'm not going to say anything else is not quality, but you know, sometimes you got the pizza that's been sitting out for, you know, as many days so it's not as fresh. But like when you go in the century, it gets made right then and there as you request it. So, you know, that fresh taste is a lot better. These facilities are important to the Shippensburg community. Many students like Bria prefer to get their morning brew from Dunkin' Donuts or go to the Century Cafe that offers a quiet study environment that crowded dining halls may not offer. These smaller locations are important for students who want to escape the larger dining hall atmosphere and gives new students a sense of home away from home by eating in a familiar place. The convenience of the on-to-go, the to-go foods, uh, play a popular, popular role in the campus food chain. I actually have two favorite spots, uh, Papa John's and the sub place right by it in the same building. Uh, mainly the reason is because it's quick, uh, it's good food, and it's varied enough, at least for me. Um, so I can just get it and then go back to my dorm, which is right around there, it's in Harley Hall. So if I want to do studying or something like that, I can do that and have food to eat while doing it. So that way it's kind of like killing two birds with one stone. Uh, and I'd rather not just, you know, sit in a dining hall and eat. And even if I did want to study in a dining hall or something like that, it just wouldn't be the same. So the food is good and it's easy. You just get it, get in, get out, you're done. Some students prefer going to the dining hall for multiple food options and enjoy the social aspect where students can meet up with friends and decompress from a day of learning. Find out about these dining halls when we return. Reisner. 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 Having a hard time writing your paper? Having difficulties focusing on an assignment? Visit the Research Help Desk in Ezra Memorial Library at Shippensburg University for help with citations, topic development, organization of essays, and much more. To contact the Research Help Desk, 
Call 717-477-1474 so you can feel better. Learning Center provides an array of tutoring services, including studying strategies and tips to improve writing skills. Students have the ability to schedule appointments with tutors in a variety of ways. A student may either schedule an appointment online, via telephone, or in person at the Learning Center reception desk inside of Mowry Hall. Students are expected to be prepared prior to their tutoring session. Bring any academic materials needed to make the session effective, such as textbooks, past and current assignments, and class notes. Students are also required to arrive on time for sessions and be an active participant in the tutoring. Welcome back. Reisner, as many students call it, is actually pronounced Reisner. Reisner is one of two dining halls located on campus and is probably the most popular since it is in the heart of Shippensburg University. It also has the largest food selection during breakfast, lunch, and dinner times. Food is important to any campus and is often a big component of a student's decision to attend the college. We sat down with a SHIP sophomore to get their feedback on Reisner. Every day I always make sure I have breakfast before class, so I go to Reisner every single day. And I always get two pieces of egg, two eggs and two pieces of cheese mixed together scrambled. And I always get a waffle because I got the nice waffle maker at Reisner. So I always go there every day for breakfast. And then I skip lunch and then I go back to Reisner for dinner just because they have good options for me to eat every day. Reisner is my favorite because it is the main dining hall on campus. It's convenient to get there. Um, they have a whole lot of different food options there. Like yesterday for dinner, we had stuffed shells, and those were so good. Um, that's another thing. They have, also have events. So like MSA, we had um, our African um, American History Month there like as a dinner and we had like performances in the cafeteria and stuff and they had like those types of foods and so like I like Reisner because of that too. Dining halls offer a larger variety in foods that may be more ideal for picky eaters or those with big appetites. They also cater to those with lactose intolerance, allergies, and religious dieting. We sat down with the head chef of Reisner to discuss how he prepares daily to handle the food demand of students. Consists of coming in and checking on um, the cooks and service to make sure that all the food has been prepared and that we didn't um, that the orders came in properly. Um, uh, we're not shorted on anything, um, and that we have a full staff. And um, we prep all day. And uh, you know, there's there's a lot of things that come up. We come out and in, into the dining room and um, talk to some students. We uh, I usually go up to the grill, check on them, come to the back, check on them. Sometimes I'll take, take a stroll over to Kreiner and make sure that he's okay. Um, uh, but mostly it's uh, prepping food, ordering food, um, keeping the cost down. Allergens, um, we, we do take care of allergens here. We, we've seen a lot of uh, students in the last couple of years uh, come in and we have an allergen station dedicated to just at the, the, the main, <coughs> sorry, um, a station that it's dedicated to allergen free. So there's none of the eight allergens are on that station. And then when the students come in on um, open houses, uh, they, they'll often come to me and, and ask or, or if they're coming to, to for a tour to see the school and they're thinking about coming here, we like to sit down with them. We'll go over everything that they have. We might ask them for a doctor's note so that we can be sure that we know what their diets are. Um, and we'll work with them. Um, not, a lot of times there's a lot of food here that is perfectly fine for someone with an allergy. You just need to talk to us to find out where it's at. Overall, Shippensburg University's dining services continue to improve and enhance students' food experiences every year. When we come back, I'll sit down with Jeremy Paisley to discuss his role in the university's food services. Meet Ross. Today is his first day at the gym. What a jump shot. Look at that speed, Usain Bolt. <laughs> Working on those pythons and back rows like Arnold. Do you also want to be like Ross? Come on down to the rack and get your pump on.
Looking for a safe haven? The Women's Center is located on the first floor of Horton Hall. From the front entrance, go straight through the lobby and all the way back to rooms 122 and 123. Even though it's called the Women's Center, all women and men are welcomed and encouraged to use the Women's Center services and resources. The Women's Center assists students in their personal, social, and ethical development through educational programs and on-campus events throughout the school year. You are feeling uh, I especially want to thank Evelyn and Jim for being here, uh, the mother and father of Tim Piazza. If you are feeling ill or under the weather, stop by the Etter Health Center as soon as possible. Etter is located on the ground floor of Noggle Hall with nurses waiting to assist you. The Wellness Center also provides counseling for any issues students may be facing. The Wellness Center provides a self-care room where students may help themselves to a variety of items as needed free of charge. Another convenient feature is the Plan B vending machine, which costs only $25 for students. To schedule an appointment, contact 717-477-1458. Having a hard time writing your paper? Having difficulties focusing on an assignment? Visit the Research Help Desk in Ezra Memorial Library at Shippensburg University for help with citations, topic development, organization of essays, and much more. To contact the Research Help Desk, call 717-477-1474 so you can feel better. Welcome back to this SUTV special about dining services offered on campus. I'm joined with Jeremy Paisley, Director of Operations for Ship Dining. How are you doing today? Doing well. Good, good, good. Um, for the viewers at home, uh, can you give us some insight on exactly what you do? So every day I come to work about 7.30. The first thing I do is go around the building and wish everyone a good morning. Set the tone for the day. Okay. Then a quick stop to the office to check email and look at catering for the day. Uh, if catering's light, then I'll go to the Cub, to Kreiner, Starbucks, just to check in on everyone. Um, then I usually spend my lunches in Reasoner, okay. catch up at office work in the afternoon, make sure dinner's ready to go in the evening and then head home. If, if there are, is a lot of catering or any uh, VIP catering, then my sole focus would be on that for the day. Okay, okay. Um, can you explain the uh, text-to-chat app that sure. you control? So the text-to-chat app allows a student or any customer um, total anonymity to text a question, a comment, a concern um, that comes straight to my phone. Um, I had no idea. I, I don't get any phone numbers. Okay. <coughs> and then I'm able to reply to them. Um, so it, it allows them to express any concern they want. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, do you have any uh, specific memorable ones that have camp come through? Sure. The most memorable one, um, I got a text about uh, an experience a student had at the Cub. Okay. And how pleased she was, not only with her food, but with the service that our employee offered to her. So I went, to, I went straight to the Cub okay. to, to get this uh, employee and asked if she knew about the text to chat and she vaguely knew and I said well it allows students to talk to me and, and tell me anything they want and today I received a, a text about you and I just let her sit for 10 seconds yeah. and you could see she was trying to figure out what she did wrong. You know, why would I come visit? <laughs> yeah. So then I let her read the text and it made her day that a student went out of their way to send a text uh, telling how, how much they appreciated the experience. That's awesome. That was awesome. pretty cool. So what's the, as far as turnaround time, would you say, as far as the? It depends on the, on the day okay. and what I'm into. Um, it, it, I check it right away. Okay. And, and if I can answer it, I answer it right away. Um, never more than an hour, though. Okay. Awesome. Um, are there any updates or news about food spots um, that current and future students uh, may be able to look to if you can talk about that at sure. all? Sure. Uh, one thing I can tell you for sure uh, is in the fall, when students return, they'll be treated to a brand new Starbucks. Okay. Um, and we have been in talks with the university about the future direction that the university wants to go. Um, nothing's been set in stone, um, but we are working towards that. And hopefully in the fall semester, we can start putting plans in place 
for 2020. Okay, awesome, awesome. Uh, well, that's all we have uh, for this SUTV special. Uh, thank you for joining us, Jeremy. Thank you. Um, for more information, visit www.dineoncampus backslash ship. On behalf of the SUTV crew, the members and staff, I'm Stefan Wilson. Good night. <laughs>